Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long between videos again. Life has been actually really, a lot of things happening lately and a lot of really exciting news, um, which I'm excited to share, but I don't really know if I should share it on here or if I should just keep my personal stuff as personal stuff and keep this as just like sharing knowledge on making stuff because that's why I created this channel was to share knowledge on making stuff because that's what's really saved me <laughs> and my mental health and everything is just creating and expressing and making and all that stuff <laughs> which I've been in a little bit of a rut lately like I haven't been making and that's why I haven't been making videos because I've been all very distracted by a lot of different things going on. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's happening. Um, but today I'm really excited because I started making stuff again and I actually made this top. I used to make these tops probably about um, four or five years ago I started making these. They're really cute, they're like little halter, halter weave tops and I just make them out of like old t-shirts just as long as they're like cotton stretch material it works really well um, but they're really flattering and they're adjustable so they can fit whatever size whatever size you want like I made this out of a size 10 I think I'm a size 12 at the moment, but it works. <laughs> it works. It's an awesome way to like upcycle your clothes, reuse them, not waste them, and yeah, not have to buy new ones. <laughs> it's really good. Um, so yeah, let's get making. Okay, so we're just going to start with an old t-shirt. Um, a washable marker of any colour, thread that kind of matches your shirt. If you have a matching thread that's awesome, I don't. Okay so we're going to start off with a t-shirt, like any old cotton stretch t-shirt, a washable marker thread that matches the shirt, a needle and a pin. Oh, and the most important part, scissors. We're going to start by, um, I'll put the shirt on and just mark out where I want it to sit. Okay, so I have the t-shirt on. It's now fitting quite a bit differently than it used to. So I'm going to mark out where I would like it to sit. The bottom of our little triangle bit to start. I'm going to mark it about here on that side. And then do about the same on the other side. About there. And then where we want the bottom of our triangle. So say probably about here. So now we've marked it out, I'm going to take it off and show you how to cut it. Okay, so we've marked it all out. In our t-shirt we've got our two side marks and our bottom of our triangle. So what we're going to do now is just fold the front in half. So pinch it where that is, the front, and then we'll pull it up, line the two seams up.
so that we know we have the middle at the bottom, the middle at the top. Give it a little shake and then lay it down. So we know that is our centre. I'm a bit off with my markers. That's okay. So then all we do is cut from where we want our centre and just cut up to this line. I cut a little bit below the line, but that's okay. Okay. So that's our little front bit done. Now what I'm going to do is cut around the neckline and just cut that out and cut the sleeves off. So cut the sleeve off. Cutting that seam off. And do the other side. The other sleeve off. So, and then we'll just cut the neckline out. Okay, so now we've cut our front section we're going to do some little slits down the front so what we'll do is fold it again to find the middle lining up the seams to make sure that you're cutting the middle there To our plate, checking it out, and laying it flat. We'll cut our slits along here. Make sure you don't make them too long because then you might see your boobs, but make them however long. You want so if I want mine about this about here then I'll do about half that because it'll be double once we open it out there we go And when we open it out, it will look like that. Now what we're going to do is cut our straps, so for the back. So what we do is we flip it over. And just start on one side. So what I'm going to do to make the back strap is just cut from here. along a little bit and then I'll find the middle here or whereabouts and then how big I want my strap to be just about here cut up from there Then cut in the middle just to mark where the straps are going to be. So the strap on the other side, we'll just start this one.
it's going to be coming to about here. That's where our arch is going to go to. Okay, starting off here. Curving along. Be gone. And then to make this into straps, what we do is we'll just cut from here. Oops, not the camera. Okay, from here. To where we want our strap to come from. There we go. So that's one side done. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Where we've got into, cutting from here. And there's the other strap. Now we're going to make the top bit a hold the neck. So what we'll do is cut these bits straight like that coming into our point. So cut along the middle. And I'll flip it around just to make it easier to cut from here. I'll cut down so we can make a strap. Bottom strap. There we go. Starting to look like our holder top that we want now. I'm just gonna cut these ends off here and make them pointy like these ends because I feel like it looks nicer, like a nicer finish. Awesome, how good is it looking? It's all good. Now we're just going to stretch this a little bit. Make these all nice looking. And we'll stretch our ends. To get them looking nice. Stretching the material just makes it not really matter if it's evenly cut or if you've done a little bit of jagged bits, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'll put this on and I'll show you how to weave this bit. Alrighty, so in my opinion this top is already looking 100% better than what it did. Yay! So what we're going to do is weave this. So pull the top one over. Second one over, pull the next one through, over. And weave like this. 
what do they do? Pulling one out and over, the other one out and over, next one out and over. Just keep doing that all the way down. until we get to the bottom one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get my my pin. And just pin that. And there we go, brand new holder top, and it's so cute. I love it. You can play with these and just bring them to the side, or you can make them more in if you like it more in. Whatever you like. Um, but yeah. I love it. It's so much better than the top it was before. Here we go. Okay, so once you're happy with your weaving and the top in general, have a look at the top. See how those bits, like when you make them pointy, they just, they just look really nice. And I don't mind that bit. Anyway, I'm pretty stoked with this top. So then once you're happy, happy with your weaving, get your needle and thread and find where the end of this thread is. Hmm. It's probably going to be an issue. Got no clue. Okay, so now we're happy with our top, we'll get our thread. Let's get a little bit. We need a little bit. Got a tiny bit. And we'll thread it in our needle. Tie a little knot in the end, and then just where we've got our pin, we will hold it. Put a needle through the bottom, and just sew this little bit shut. Finish it off. Just like tying a couple of knots in it. Just to make it secure. There we go, and I'll make up the thread. And there we go. Hey, you did it. You made a t-shirt or a holder shirt out of a t-shirt. <laughs> you made a thing and you did good. So yeah, how easy was that? So simple. It's so effective. I love it. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video or you think it could help someone else, um, please like and share. If you have any comments or questions or tips, just leave them in the comments below. 
And yeah, let me know if you'd like to know more about my journey and what's going on in my life, as well as all the making stuff, because that's why I made this channel, is to share knowledge about making stuff. But um, yeah, there's a lot going on. And I feel a little bit, a little bit cold to share it, but I also just, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. And if you want to be kept up to date with new videos that I'm making on like making stuff, uh, just subscribe and click the little notification bell. And yeah, your support honestly means the world to me and I appreciate you guys so much. So yeah. Big love and happy making. I hope you get as much joy out of these t-shirts as I do. <laughs> it's good.